everyone, welcome back to my channel and I'm really sorry that I haven't uploaded for a few weeks. I've just been really busy with schoolwork and stuff and I just really haven't got around to filming a video but I had a bit of spare time today so I thought I would quickly film a video for you guys. In today's video, oh also I forgot to say, um, I've cut my hair as you can see obviously. And if you've watched my videos before, you'll know that my hair used to be much longer. It used to be about um, kind of this length just at the top of this yellow bit so like that kind of length so as you can see I've had quite a lot to cut off but I just really like it because my hair was quite damaged and stuff so I just thought I would have a bit of a change and have a haircut quite a big one <laughs> so basically in um, honour you could say of my new hair I've decided to do today's video as like a short hair inspired video and seeing as it's pretty much spring now like it's still raining quite a lot where I am but I don't know about you it might be really hot where you are and in that case this video will really help you because I'm going to be showing you 10 really easy quick simple and easy hairstyles for spring and summer but mainly spring because I'm hoping to do another one of these videos when it turns into summer when hopefully it is really hot weather so anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well if you want to see more of my videos. And yeah, let's just get into the video. So for hairstyle number one, you just want to begin by taking a section of your hair and you want to make sure it's directly back. So just a thin section from your part line, just that tiny bit there, run it back, not too far. And then take this strand and just give it quite a tight twist like this and then take your twist just kind of lay it back and then just take a simple hair grip and then take this hair grip and just fix the twist in place like that so just grip it like this so it stays in place it's kind of hard to explain but I'm hoping you could just kind of see what I'm doing and we're gonna do the exact same thing again so take another vertical section going back give it quite a, a tight twist just take a hair grip, take it like this, push it in backwards so it's going forwards into the twist so it holds it in place and I'm just going to do this one more time. So this is what you should end up with, just three or however many you want to do, you could just do one or two little twists like this and I just think this is a, like a uniquey kind of, uniquey, different kind of hairstyle that you've probably never seen before and I just really like it. For hairstyle number two, all you're going to need is a simple hair bobble. What you want to do is just section off a kind of front section of your hair, so just going back just by your forehead, so just run your fingers back and section off this top portion of your hair. And then take this just at the back of your head and tie it as if you were going to just do a normal ponytail, but then when you reach the last loop of your hair bobble, only pull it halfway through like this, now don't worry if it looks a bit weird first, we're gonna fix that, um, and you just wanna tighten it down like so, just move the end of the hair like around so it kind of sits the way you want to, and then just carry on kind of tightening, you can use a few hair grips if you need to, but that's basically it. So for the third hairstyle, you want to take a small section at the front of your face, and I quite like to do quite a small section for this hairstyle, but if you want to, you can do a bigger one. It's just kind of whatever you prefer, and it does depend on how thick your hair is as well, because if your hair's maybe a bit thinner, you might want to take less. But actually, my hair's quite thick, and I'm taking a small bit, so I don't know. It really just depends what you want to do. Anyway, so um, just with this section, split it into three, and you just want to do a regular three strand braid and just go all the way down or just as far as you can go don't worry if you can't go all the way down and usually when I do these kind of hairstyles if you watch them before I'll say like angle it this way because then you don't end up with that bubble but for this hairstyle you actually want to angle it down so I think that's a bit easier because you can watch yourself braid like this and make sure you're doing it right um, so just go as far as you can, like so. And that is the finished hairstyle. I just really like this one because you can just have a cute little braid and it's not really anything too complicated. It's just a nice little, I don't know, it's just a, instead of just wearing your hair down all the time, you might just want to do this just as a something little extra. 
I don't know, that made no sense, but I just really like it. <laughs> so this next hairstyle, hairstyle number four, is one that I think I'm going to wear a lot now that I have shorter hair, just because of how easy it is and how it just keeps your hair out of your face literally all day. Um, and all it is is just two little pigtails, so just split your hair down the centre, don't worry if it's not like completely straight, it doesn't really matter. And then just take one half, secure it into a ponytail like this and do the same on the other side and if you want to you can leave down a few little hairs just to frame your face a little bit like I'm doing but if you prefer the kind of sleek, uh, neater vibe then you can do that too and this is the hairstyle, I just think it's so cute I look like a little five year old girl but I just love this one, I think it's so nice so for hairstyle number six, you're going to need a scrunchie, and the one I have is this black and white gingham scrunchie, and it has a bow on it as well, which I just love. Basically, you just want to take a quite large section, so like it's kind of like half of your hair, yeah, so half of the hair on top of your head, and then just take your scrunchie and secure your hair into a ponytail. And that is the finished hairstyle. It was so easy and it's just a simple half up. But So for hairstyle number seven, we're gonna be doing a four strand braid. And don't worry if you don't know how to do this, it's really easy. I actually learned how to do this in my food uh, lesson at school when we had to braid bread. I learned how to do it, the teacher showed us. So that is like how easy it is, so don't worry. So I'm doing a small braid and I'm just taking the front section of my hair, but I want it to be fairly big and then just split it into four so I like to split it in half first to make sure they're even and then split each se each section in half again so you end up with four sections that are nice and even so what you want to do is take this section and this is kind of how I say it so you do right over left like this right over left like this and then left over right in the middle. You take the right over left, right over left, left over right in the middle. And I'm literally just gonna repeat these steps all the way down until I reach as far as I can go. So, so that's probably as far as I'm gonna go. You can see what the braid looks like. It's nice and, I don't know, it's a really pretty braid. I really like this one. And then you just want to take your braid, lay it flat against your head, and then just take a simple hair grip and secure it to your head. And that is the finished hairstyle. It's just a little bit different and it's just, yeah, it's a bit different to just a normal braid. And so hairstyle number eight is perfect for spring because it's just nice to kind of have your hair out of your face. But when you have short hair, it's hard because you can't get it like all the way up in a messy bun or anything. Like I know I can't anyway. I've tried all the hairstyles before and um, I know when my hair was longer, it was much easier. So this is kind of a different version for all of you guys with short hair. And it's just a really nice ponytail. It's just nice and simple, and it's an absolute staple that you should be able to do for um, summertime. So I'm just starting off by kind of separating two front pieces because I don't want to put them in the ponytail. So then you just want to gather up your hair. Just use your fingers because it's nice if it's not really neat. It's nice for if it's a little bit messy. And then just take a simple hair bobble and secure your hair just at the nape of your neck. And then it's nice because you've just got these two little strands just framing your face. So hair's the number five. All you're going to need is one of these little butterfly clips. But if you don't have one of these don't worry I'm sure it would work just as well with a hair grip or one of those little hair elastics so it doesn't really matter if you don't have one of these and all you're going to do is choose what side of hair you want to do it on I'm actually going to choose this side because I always do it on this side and I'm bored of it so yeah I'm going to take a section quite a small section actually because this clip is really small so it's not going to hold a lot of hair and just give it a twist um, about halfway down and then take your clip and just secure the twist to your head like so and that is it. So for hairstyle number nine you want to take just very gently just the top part of your hair and just gently finger comb it back so then just take a hair grip or just as many as you need and just give this hair that you've kind of loosely gathered a slight twist so it kind of all forms one section and then just take your hair grip 
and slot it in to just secure that hair flat to your head. And this is the finished hairstyle. I just really like it because it's so simple and like all these hairstyles are simple but I just like this one because it's really quick and easy to do as well. So for the tenth and final hairstyle I'm using this little, well it's quite big actually, um, pink flower accessory which I got from Claire's just because it's very spring like and it just gets you in the nice spring mood but you can use any kind of accessory that you want. I'm actually just going to use this take the quite a large section at the front of my hair give it like a really small twist but then like loose at the top at the like when you first start twisting but then nearer the end of it a tighter twist that made no sense but basically loose at the top and then tighter as you go down and then just take your clip accessory or just a normal hair growth if you don't want to use one and then as you get right to the back of your head I'm going to turn around so you can see secure the twist down with the flower like this. Now you have just a really nice twist, just nice and loose with a nice flower, perfect for spring. So I'm really hoping that you enjoyed these 10 really easy hairstyles for spring for short hair. And if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and please follow me on my social media, so Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and also I have 21 Buttons as well, which is like a really nice fashion app and I love my fashion. So definitely follow me on there if you have it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much and I I will see you next week. Bye.